about the people who elected her in general, perhaps the whole country, want something new, something different, a different kind of politics, and have gotten out of the set stereotype of always having to have Mr. Security at the head of the state. I think our concept of security, perhaps, as a result, may also change, and I'm very glad that it is a woman this time who got elected. Uh, our hope uh, is to have uh, rapid general elections, and those are the hopes also of 80% of Israel uh, citizens. Uh, we think that it will be totally immoral on behalf of Tzipi Livni and Kadima to try to run the country without uh, first uh, going to general elections. And by the way, this is the whole essence of primaries. You are not getting mandate to run the country, but you are getting a mandate to run your party uh, and to be the candidate in a general election. And we hope that Mrs. Livni, and she is a partner with us in the peace talks, we hope that uh, being prime minister will be more uh, serious in order to reach the final settlement of the, uh, the conflict as soon as possible, according with the international law and with the uh, Annapolis uh, results. There is no difference between Livni and Mufaz because both of them agreed to destroy the Palestinians' rights and interests and agreed to establish their Jewish state uh, against uh, our land and our holy uh, land and uh, our Jerusalem. Tzipi Livni has an intention to go forward with the negotiations with the Palestinians, perhaps even with the Syrians. We know that uh, Mrs. Livni doesn't really like what has been uh, uh, cooking, let's say, uh, on the Syrian part. But with the Palestinians, she's uh, uh, leading the negotiations, and uh, I'm probably more than sure that she's going to continue with that. Late last night, when it was clear that Sipi Livni had won the Kadima primary. Prime Minister Olmert telephoned her and congratulated her on her victory. Uh, the Prime Minister told her that he will support her and he will do everything that he can to assist her in a smooth transition. The Prime Minister himself will inform the Cabinet on Sunday of his decision to resign and after that will formally resign, uh, sending a letter to the President of the State of Israel which will start the process of transition.